Sean Sheehan here with Kiefer Crosby at the Bellator Dublin uh, press day as we prepare for the, the big fight coming up here in, in February. Who, I don't know, did we say in the press conference there, did, has your opponent been announced yet? Who, who will you be fighting in February? Yeah, fighting some American lad, he's 8-4. and four. I literally signed this morning, didn't really get a chance to look into him too much. Um, so I don't really know much about him, but uh, yeah, experienced guy, he's fought in Bellator before and yeah, he looks like a decent, decent lad, good record. The last time we came here as well, you announced the opponent on the day and it, it didn't happen, but... Is that a thing for you, like, that you know, a lot of people, they want to know their next one, they want an actual, you know, a name, this is the name I'm fighting to get me to where I'm getting from. It seems like it's, maybe it's because it's tough to get you opponents, but is that, do you ever think about that? It's like, I'm, it's very hard to, like, climb to the next level because the opponents are maybe not the, the ones that we would know? Not necessarily, no. This is about me, not them, so it's not really hard to get me an opponent around like this. It's just fight to fight, you know. Like, you know, yourself, if you're coming to Dublin to watch this event, you're coming to see me, and that's it. That there's no opponent that's going to make it bigger for me, do you know what I mean? So people keep saying this next level shit. I'm just here to, to fight, get more experience, make money, and then the next level will come naturally when it comes next year or whenever, do you know? Um, but this lad, again, I'm, what, 8-0 eight, eight now, he's 8-4, similar records, um, d decent experience lad, he's fought in Bellator before, so it is what it is. Well, and again, I don't look into the opponents, I really don't, because again, as you've seen from my history, most of the time, none of them show up. They always chop and change. And February, the week before the fight, I'll probably get a different lad. This is the way it happens. It's the nature of the game, though. I understand that, you know, it's injuries happen all the time. I get it, but it, whatever. I'm just here to fight, so. I suppose after the last fight, you know, we, we spoke to you after the fight, and you were, you know, you were a little bit, kind of, maybe not mad with yourself, but not, not happy with that performance. And I suppose it's because it changed so, so late and everything like that. The last, maybe, six months with the disqualifications, so have, have you found those, that time a little bit frustrating? Right after the fight, yes, and then obviously going right into the last fight, yes, but right now, nah, it's done. You know, it's off my chest now, I had my fight, I got it on my system, I evaluated my last fight, you know, I wrote everything down, I look back at it a million times, and you know, I, I remember consciously what I was thinking in the fight, and I wasn't thinking the way I normally would think, and I was kind of holding myself back and hesitant with certain things, and I didn't want to throw elbows and knees against the fence just in case I got disqualified, and, you know, shit like that, and that's not, me, that's not how I am, you know, I'm a, I'm a fighter that just goes in and fights with everything, and... I train hard enough to be able to use every weapon in my body, not hesitate and hold myself back. So um, that's the only system now. Fuck it. It is what it is. Next time it will be a very different fight. Um, and I'll look like a different fighter in there, trust me. Uh, you know, I, I talked to, to James there a few minutes ago, and obviously he's the, the headline and act in the card. And, you know, there was talks of him fighting in America, and maybe this might be his last headline and f uh, fight here for a while. Do you think you're maybe the next person to come on him if James goes over and fighting in America and is not headlining anymore? Do you think you're the next guy to do it? You, I 100% believe so. Yeah, I'm the. This is these. This is my hometown. These are my people. I'm from Dublin. Who else is from Dublin up here? Nobody. I'm the. I live five minutes that way. Do you know what I mean? I've from the Bama days to these days. I sell the most amount of tickets. I bring the biggest crowd. I blow the roof off the place. I mean, I deserve it. If I'm actually not the co-main event in this next event right now in February, I'm going to be very disrespected, to be honest. You can't bring people over from another country and put them ahead of me you've seen it with the ben henderson thing the last time it was shy it was a flop i blew the roof off the place and then the atmosphere went down everyone went to get a drink when they walked out and then they came back for pierce fight it's like you know we blow the roof off the place the irish lads they want uh james is the main event pierce the main event on the the other one the uh, american card i want the co main event on, on either one of those slots I've de i deserve it at this stage i've paid me dues in this sport and uh, especially in dublin and as you've seen and as everyone sees in that tree arena man i blow the bleeding roof off the place so i deserve it and uh yeah a co main event next time yeah and i suppose you know maybe a criticism myself and other people have had of fighters like yourself and other fighters come up who we see as top prospects in irish MMA, maybe not getting that you know like like the exact fight peter has now it's the perfect fight i think for him to get you know he said if he wins that he'll be getting the title fight do you feel like that's the fight you're kind of looking for maybe over the next year or so to get you a fight against maybe a name that'll take you to the, the, the fight to get you to a title fight kind of. No, fuck a belt. Do you know what I mean? The belt is not going nowhere. I'm, not, I'm 29. I'm eight fights in. I'm, I'm, like, I'm still racking up the experience. Make, I'm at the sign a new fight deal this morning with Bellator. It's a life-changing deal. I'm getting seriously paid well now. That's all I'm focused on right now. I'm going to go in, rack up the experience, win fights impressively, make money, and then the belt will come when it comes organically. You see all these fighters coming into these big organisations, they have one win, I want the belt, and you're like, calm the fuck down with your belt. You know what I mean? I don't they need no belt right now. You know what I mean? As I said, when, you, when I walk out on that tree arena, it's like I'm the champion. 
that's the way the people of Ireland see it. Do you know what I mean? So a fight is just a fight for me. I just want to keep fighting and it will happen when it happens. And the more times I fight, the better I get. The better I get when I do eventually fight the champion, you'll see a different version of me in there. So I think a lot of people just rush into the fight the champion. And You see, the champions have 20, 30 plus fights. I'm only eight fights in, don't forget that. I'm eight and oh, yeah, whatever, but I'm, I'm only eight fights in. That's not a lot in terms of championship. Peter, in fairness, deserves it more because he's been around the block. He's fought fucking everywhere. That you get a hard opposition, but he's done it from the right way start off slow and you build up it up and eventually I will come against top prospects yes and I will beat them when the time is right but right now I'm, I'm happy making serious dough and just uh, you know stacking it up and having fun with it yeah and I suppose I, I was talking to James as well about it being a big kind of month for SBG well obviously you, you're going to have James in the in the gym with you you're going to have uh, Peter Quigley and other people as well but how big is it to have Connor maybe back around the gym he's fighting a couple of weeks before you is that, I know you've always you know said great things about Connor is it great to have him back in the gym as well I love it man there's no energy like having him back in the gym it's just motivating like I mean none of us would be here if it wasn't for him none of us would this, I just don't think the sport would even be here do you know what I mean MMA in general let alone the, these events he's literally changed the game and uh, he's brought it to the next level he really has and uh, having his energy in the gym is top at her range, you know. I can't wait to just see him back in there doing what he does best. Do you know, the only reason we know Connor is because of who he was back then, and he progressed right up to being the champ champ. And it's great to just see him working hard, man. He's in serious shape, and I honestly think his next fight is going to be the best performance that he's ever had. I really do. I, I, I put my life on that. Yeah. That's the opposite thing, I suppose, we're looking at. You know, we see him against Eddie Alvarez, and I've said it. I think it's one of the best performances we've ever seen in the history of MMA. But he's only had the one fight since then, it's what, three years ago. Like, obviously, you see it in the gym. Is he, do you think he's as sharp right now as he was going into that fight? A million percent, man. As I said there at the press conference, you only get better with every fight, win or lose. You don't get worse. You get better. You know, whether you win, if people always talk about, oh, you you lost that fight, you're moving on. You get better with these losses or wins or whatever. It's about the fight itself. And I can only see him after getting so sharp, you know what I mean, sharper than he was. And even his mind and his work ethic is just unmatched you can't you know you wouldn't see anyone working harder and for him to be so successful already and still have that grind in him it's impressive and it's uh, motivational for people like me and i just can't wait to see him walk, make the walk and listen to that uh, walkout song again yeah, Sinead o'connor and just do what he does best i really can't wait to see it so last thing for me um the last couple of times we talked we talked about the weight class and you, you were talking about going down to lightweight is that still the plan and will that, this fight be a lightweight this is a 160 but yes i will be lightweight after this one a uh, baby on the way the week of the fight Add, add to the stress of the fight and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna they're giving me a bit of leeway with that and I'm very happy and uh, the lad I'm fighting is a welter he's never fought below welter so maybe he's trying to do the same as me ease himself down this is why I love Bellator you know what I mean they're, they're, they're helping us out they put the fighter first not the promotion and you know if I need something they'll look after me and you know it's, I like that they're paying me really well they're looking after me with the weight classes and it's good to work for people like this, you know what I mean, and uh, get what we, we deserve to get, you know. And uh, So, yeah, 160 at this one, and then after that, then I will make my way down to 145, yeah. Thanks very much for your time, really appreciate it.